Greg Cazillo, Fro Knows Photo. Com. I'm going to go over something pretty simple today, and that is the view options under view and view options. And actually, these three items I'm going to go over view options, grid view style, and loop info. All right, so I'm going to go over those, and um, hopefully, it'll help you to set it up the first time. And to me, it's one of those things that I set up when I first install Lightroom on a computer and then kind of forget about it. Um, because it's set exactly how I want it. So, view options. So I open that, and then the first one I see is my grid view options. Now, uh, we're going to go over these one by one here. First things first, show grid extras. If I turn that off, you see these grids get smaller, and I only have a photo with no data around it. I like seeing data. I like seeing file names and all this other information that's around it so that I know what's going on and uh, you know can easily pick things out so that's my that's what I like um, options so clickable items on mouse over only um, as you see this turns on the arrows permanently um, personally what I like to do is just have them on the mouse over so that's my deal tint grid cells with label colors if these had a color label they would be tinted uh, show image info tool tips again uh, something else I like to have on um, cell icons flags yes definitely um, they will show up here in the corner right up here photo is unflagged thumbnail badges uh, those are these little things here in the corner and uh, the photos is in a collection and this one has keywords and this one has been cropped and then this one has been adjusted in a developed module. Um, so each one is going to be a little bit different, and so you can so you know what's what and exactly what photo has been adjusted. That's just a nice little thing, just a quick little visual cue of what's going on. Uh, so we have those cell icons. We talked about those. I don't like the click quick collection markers. I would rather use my um, shortcut key in order to do that the B key and so that's why I turn that off and uh, unsaved metadata doesn't really matter to me because I have uh, as in, showed you in a previous video the metadata is automatically saved uh, to the sidecar XMP files next to my raws so it's not really an issue um, compact cell extras now I use the expanded cells all right um, if I was to use the compact cells, then I could have this show these cell extras. I like the expanded cells. Uh, I don't know why. I can't explain it, but it's just the way that I like to work. So I stick with the expanded ones. Um, if you did like the compacts, you can choose a couple of these options that are going to be the same that I'm going to show you through the expanded cells. So go back to my expanded cells. And then we're down here. Show header with labels. So that's this header at the top here. Okay. We want to show that file name. Okay. That's this one that's up here in the top left. And then crop dimensions. The one that's here on the right. Exposure and ISO. Bottom left. Capture date and time. Bottom right. So that's the order that I have found works well for me and so that's what I always set up show rating footer that turns on or off the ratings and color labels in the bottom and also the rotation buttons so once again that's what I like to do and how I like to have it set up uh, I think it's important I think it's a quick visual cue as I've mentioned and so that's why I always use it now go over to the loop view. When I obviously you you'll notice when I click that tab, it switches from the grid view to the loop view view, so that you know what's going on and know what um, you're setting and turning on. Now this is something that I don't use a lot. Um, I don't know why. I just never got in the habit of using it. I'm sure plenty of people love to use it and it works well for them, um, but I just don't use it. Um, allows you to set up info one and info two uh, for quick switching between the two depending upon the type of work that you're doing 
Um, loop info one, basic information you can choose from the list of, of data that's there. Uh, loop info two, and then you can do the same thing. Um, if you're setting, say, for one of these views, you're doing it for portraits, and the other one is for uh, editing, say, I don't know, some kind of a product photo or something. Uh, or maybe it's two different people that use the same computer and they like to have two different sets of, of information displayed to them. So there's what that's where you'll uh, choose those, have those two different sets of info. Uh, again, I turned that off for me, but you might like it and might find it advantageous. Uh, there's no real OK button because as you saw, all those changes are made live. Now, back to these as I promised, show extras, show badges, compact cells, expanded cells. We've talked about and cycle view style, that is, hold on, apparent, let me go into here, there we go, go to grid view style, cycle, okay, that view, and then we can, oops, what did I do, there we go, back to, the, back to this one, so it's just, I'm going to use the J key, and you can see what it's doing, it's going from the compact, or nothing on them, to the compact cells, to the expanded cells. Some people might really like the compact cells, especially if you're working on a laptop with a, uh, a small screen size. Um, that would definitely help, and I could see how that would be advantageous. Uh, you know, I'm working on a 24 inch screen, Jared works on a 27 inch screen, and so it really isn't an issue. Screen real estate isn't an issue for uh, for either of us, especially me, since I actually have three monitors on my primary editing computer. And so, you know, that real estate isn't an issue, so I don't mind having these expanded cells. And so that is that. And then loop info, you can choose these two that we have, you have set inside of that view options box. And then... Uh, also do the cycle thing just like in grid view style you use the J key you can use the I key to cycle that questions or anything please uh, let us know in the forum fro knows a photo dot com slash forum uh, if there you, you can also follow me on twitter twitter dot com slash Kazillo if there's any questions or anything please uh, let us know in the forum Fro knows photo.com slash forum. Ask away. Greg Cazillo. Fro knows photo.com. Hey, if you there's something you want to know, and you want to know how to me, how I do it, how I would do it, uh, how I set up a Lightroom, send a question over. You know, you want to uh, give us a suggestion for a video, let me know in the forums. I'll gladly take those suggestions, make that video for you, and obviously, I'll thank you too. All right? Greg Cazillo, Fro, knows photo.com. See ya.